everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, I'm Stefania. Today's video is finally the flip through of my reading journal and I'm talking about December 2023. This video took me so long and it's gonna finally came out and I know it's... It's already, what, February? Probably when it's gonna come out, it's gonna be almost March. But at the end of the day, I've decided to give priority to other videos, so this one it's finally here, it's a little bit late, but here we go. I'm gonna show you first the Haley pages, that this is gonna be the last time you're gonna see these pages. And they're gonna be all filled in, and then uh, I'm gonna move to the monthly pages, so I can show you the books that I've read. Okay, starting from the Haley pages... I've colored the books that I've read in December and as you can see I still had a few books empty so it's perfectly fine because uh, I've created more books than my actual goal and uh, I've said it already at the beginning of 2023 that I would rather end up the year like this so with empty books than having to find a way to add more books because I ran out of them and at the same time I was like uh, Okay, I don't want to find a way to fill any more books in because there wouldn't be enough space. So this is how it looks at the end of the year and it's really wonderful. Then I have my book log and here there are the books that I've read in December. There were some lovely books, some others were a little bit less interesting, but it was a nice month. Reading tracker, I managed to reach my goal for 2023, which was read a little bit every single day because again in December I've done it and I'm so happy because I wasn't expecting it, instead I've done it. Super, super happy about that. Books of 2023, these are the books that I've read in December and I'm gonna talk about them a little bit more throughout the video. Pick one. My favorite book for December was this one. Now, I gave it five stars, uh, but if I have to think about it again, probably I wouldn't give it five stars anymore. But I would not start uh, changing all my rating, uh, so that's it. And then it was time to make the these 12 books uh, go one against each other and at the end of the day I picked up the winner. I had a feeling already since January that this one would have been really hard to let's say move down because I loved this book so much. It's still in my mind nowadays. So for me it's not a surprise that he is the winner. So for me it's not a surprise that this is the winner. Not at all. Favorite books, here there are my five stars. I ended up having a lot of empty space, but I'd rather have it like this than not having enough space, even if in this case I would have had more than enough space with one single page. Monthly reads, I've had the books that I've read in December here. They were five and they're all here. And now I can look at this page and tell you exactly which books I read in each single month, and it's wonderful. Series tracker, I'm pretty sure I probably should have updated it with something, especially if I want to add even a series which are in fantasy one, but I still don't know. This is how it was, this is how it's gonna end up being. And uh, here you can see that my notebook is literally falling apart. I'm so scared about it because even if I'm not gonna use it anymore, I would love for it to keep it up and not to break in pieces. Bingo, I've done it again. I managed to color everything and I'm so happy. I hope that 2024 is gonna be the same. Goodreads challenge, my goal was 60 books and I've read 64, so it's definitely wonderful. And uh, I really loved the idea of keeping track of the books according to the month. So I've done the same for 2024. 
Rainbow Challenge, uh, I just forgot about this page and I don't think I will never even look back at it. Un anno in rosa, forbidden love or age gap and I've decided to go with terms and conditions and I love the idea of managing to fill in this wall challenge. I was so happy about it. I think nothing changed here. If it did, I don't remember what. I already knew it and uh, I'm giving it a try again in 2024, but again, I'm not expecting to finish it. These challenges, I uh, I feel that they might be safe, but I literally like forgot about them at a certain point and uh, I will not go back and start worrying too much about them now. It was what it was, it's over. Generous page, uh, I've updated it, uh, but I don't remember what changed with December and this is also the reason why this tracker changed completely for 2024 because uh, now I can tell you, for example, how many nonfiction I've read, but I can't tell you when. It's not about the which one, but when. And so I've decided to change this a little bit. Reading stats. Oh, I forgot to add the number of pages. Wonderful. Anyway, in December I read five books, zero weary books, five were physical books. I've read 1656 pages, 31 days, number of days in which I've read, and I'm so happy. Books in English, one, in Italian, four, and then there is all the stars that I gave. And uh, since it was the last month of the year, I've done all the count at the bottom, except for pages, because I don't know why I forgot about it. And in the wall here, I've read 64 books, 25 were ebooks, 39 physical books. I've read the wall here, so 365 days, 14 books in English and 50 in Italian. It wasn't... Uh, a bad bed here if I'm gonna go and look at the reading because I've had uh, 19 books uh, that had four stars, 10 that had five stars, 12 that had three stars, seven four stars and half, seven three stars and half, and then there are a few under the three stars but not so many so it was definitely a uh, wonderful year. Now that I'm done with the hilly pages, I'm gonna move straight to the monthly pages. I'm not gonna talk about the stats because we just went through them. December, I've loved the fact that I managed to finish the last book of the year, which was also the last book, of course, of December, exactly on the 31st. So 2024 started with uh, a new book and I'm so happy about it. Reading tracker, I've read each single day a little bit and there have been a few days in which I've read quite a lot and I'm so happy. Books of December, last time you're gonna see this spread because as I said in my other videos, this one will not be in my reading journal anymore in the new year, just because I wasn't using it anymore basically. And then it's finally time to start with the books that I've read in December. As always, I'm not going to talk too much about them for different reasons. First of all, I don't want to give any spoilers because I hate them. And again, this isn't a review video, it's a flip through. And the second thing, I might not remember everything so clearly right now. Like, it's been a few weeks now. And uh, I don't want to say things are completely wrong or anything like that. So we're just going to go through these books mm, without going too much into details. Terms and conditions. Uh, I've read this one for a uh, reading group and I loved it. Four stars. For me it was definitely better than the fine print. If you've been following me for quite a little bit of time, uh, I've read the first book of this series uh, when it came out in Italian and the fine print wasn't uh, a big one for me. 
I had a lot of problems, especially with the translation. Like there were some parts that were impossible to read. And so I wasn't really expecting so much from the second one. Instead, it surprised me a little bit. And now I'm, I'm excited for the third one. In this case, I loved everything a little bit more compared to the first one. And uh, the story definitely, I don't know, I really fell into that. Like, it was hard to put down this book and I loved this. There were still some things that made me go like, mm, I mean... But still, it was a 4 stars and it's not bad at all. I loved it and uh, as soon as I'm gonna read the third one, I'm gonna also be able to tell you which one was my favorite one between the three. Then it was time after reading um, the first book uh, at the beginning of the year, I wanted to read the second one because the first one was finishing at the point where I was like, okay, from now on, the second one has to catch me straight from the start. It has to. Like, we're in the middle of the story and I was expecting something more. So, three stars, but there were a lot of things that were missing, some others that were pointless. I'm still waiting for some, some things that happened in the first one are still without a point now. And I wasn't expecting that. Let's say that there should be so much happening, but it's like, it's not so much. And another thing that I couldn't get through is that every single time that they're drinking tea and the magic is happening, it's not that well explained. I was expecting it to take a few more pages, but to explain everything better. Instead, that didn't happen, so I'm a little bit disappointed. I had a high hopes because uh, the first one was was like uh, the beginning was a little bit boring and slow but then uh, I was more interested into it uh, even if there were some things that still now they make no sense but uh, I was expecting so much more from this one and instead it let me down and I'm not really happy then this one it's uh, a book that I read uh, with um, it was for two actually, one for the book club and the other one was our reading group, but it was for January 2024, yet I'm ready in December. And here is the thing. I loved it, yes, but, 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 big but. If now I would have to give a few stars to this book, it wouldn't be five stars. What I really loved was, first of all, I always found myself loving books that take place during war. So that is something that already got me. And the writing, her writing style, it's amazing. I love it. I was really like, uh, this is wonderful. However, there are some things that I don't think it's right to say, like, this isn't a big fantasy, the fantasy part is really, really small. I think it was, uh, like, uh, more a romance than a fantasy. I was expecting also to see a little bit more of the gods, but I think that's gonna happen in the second book, this is what I was thinking back then. Now while I'm talking, I've actually already read the second one and I'm not gonna talk about it because that's gonna be another flip through but just so you know it was a big disappointment for me anyway I wouldn't probably give it five stars because uh, as soon as I was done with it it was this something but now if I have to think about it I don't think it's that special still I loved it absolutely yes and uh, I had some moments in which I was even like laughing because I was like, seriously, you're in a war zone and what do you do? You go out to run. Like, wh why? Anyway, I liked it, yes, uh, but probably I wouldn't give it five stars anymore. After I was done with it, after the ending, I couldn't wait to get the second one, but I had to wait because the shipping took forever, so I'm only ready to, in 2024. Liked it, yes, but probably it's not a five stars anymore for me. Then it was time for 
a Christmas book, if you want to call it in this way. Last year, December for me was all about Christmas books. This year, nope. There was only this one, which is by an Italian author, and uh, I don't think it's out in any other language, it's not Italian. I liked it. Yes and no, I even forgot to give it the rating. If I'm not wrong, it was a three star, so let me just... Yes, it was a three stars. I liked it, but it didn't drive me crazy, probably because this author usually creates lovely characters, like they're they're well made, they they really have the something that you need to see in characters. In this case, I feel like the characters were just thrown there. I don't know, maybe it's because I've read other books by her this year and I was expecting so much more, especially from the point of view of the characters. Like, uh, they weren't uh, as well made as she usually creates them. I don't know if it makes sense. Another thing that I was like, uh, okay, can we go on, was the story itself. Was too much like, okay, this would never happen all together in a single night because the world book takes place on the 24th of December. You're like, okay, be a little bit more, like, t try to write something that actually could happen every single day or like every single New Year's Eve or every single Christmas Eve, I don't care, but like something that the reader could like be, okay, this is understandable, it could happen. Instead here, there are way too many things and I was like, okay, this is this is not happening, it's impossible. And this is why every single time I was reading, I was getting out of the book. I was like realizing it's just a book. It was more like, okay, this is something that's coming out of your mind. Like, I was like to be disappointed. So three stars, but... It wasn't anything special, especially since uh, she definitely did the uh, other books that were a hundred times better than this one. Then I started uh, the last book of the year, which was Talk Bookish to Me, and I loved this. But why not more than four stars? There are some things that just couldn't sit well with me. First of all, at a certain point of the book, uh, the main character goes to a trip in Italy, but we're not talking about a small trip, we're talking about months. So I was expecting for that part to have more space in the book, instead it's like just a few chapters. And I was definitely thinking, okay, if you're gonna do it like this, just don't do it. Or do it with details, or don't do it. I don't know why doing it in this way. Another thing I'm not really happy with is the action of the of Ryan, the main character, the man, because uh, I just couldn't get him. Like, until a certain point I was fine with him, I was okay, because uh, he did nothing particularly wrong to make me hate him. But after the truth about him came out, that's when I was like, really, okay, not this. This is, this is enough. And since that point I was like uh, hating him, not really like hating him, but not trusting him. And uh, I don't know, I think the part of me was like, uh, at this point it's better to have him out of the picture. Anyway, I loved this book really a lot. It was fun to read, it was interesting. And uh, it was lovely to see a story reading how it's like to be a writer, but being uh, in the middle of a... Uh, I can't write anything right now, I don't know why, I just can't. And see how she ended everything, it was quite lovely. But again, I would have gave more space to the part in Italy, especially to the character that she meets there, because uh, it came out from nowhere and it just disappeared in the same way. It was a lovely book and definitely a wonderful way to end the year. So this is everything that I've read in December. Have you read any of these books or would you love to read them? Let me know it with a comment. As always, thank you so much for your support, for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, remember to give it a thumb up and to subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm gonna try my best to get the flip through January out as soon as possible. But I don't know when it's gonna happen because I still have uh, a spread or two to finish. Uh, mainly because I ran out of time and I couldn't do it before. So it might take a little bit of time. 
Again, thank you so much for your support and see you next time. Bye!